here, which I'm very happy about. And now I, I probably uh, should mention that this is all for the, uh, the dedication of, of Sandy's uh, representation here as, uh, as her uh, task as being dean the last couple of years before Dean Dolshani got here. And uh, in keeping with the reminiscence, uh, I didn't want to add anything in the lunchroom, but I have been here for oh, 32 or 33 years. And uh, I remember probably the first thing I really remember well was besides being hired by you and uh, all the step of, uh, steps of the way, you have been a great partner. So we salute you, we thank you for everything you've done as you uh, finish your firm and uh, go to do more and better and ex more exciting things. All we can say is thank you. Thank you, Sandy. And we have a portrait of you. This is very dignified. Don't believe what you can say. So if you would like to uh, Maybe Sandy. unveil the... Yeah. Just, just give it a heart. Yay. I didn't want this to be here because I was an interim, not not really a dean. Like these people that did, you know, long stints. I mean, that's a, a whole different thing. But the interesting thing about what Tim was saying, what Mike was saying, I didn't plan any of this. This is not planned at all. The only thing that I did was after my son turned five, I was going to go back to work because my husband was working three jobs to keep us above water. So I figured I have to contribute. But I didn't want to go into industry, so I came back and I talked to Willard Reed, who was the associate dean at the time. And he had been a student when I was a student here. And as a matter of fact, he graduated a year before me and then started teaching, and I took fluid dynamics from Willard Reed, which was very odd because, you know, he was a student of, with me, and then all of a sudden he's one of my faculty. And so I came back, I talked to him to see if there was anything I could do here. And he said, well, you have to get your master's degree and then you can teach. And I go, oh my God, to myself, you know, because that's not what I had in mind. I had in mind I might grade papers, but standing in front of a class was the last thing I had <laughs> in my mind. So he took me up to meet uh, Gene Hostetter, who was the chair of a double E at the time. And I had my son with me and he had his daughter with him because it was, you know, Easter break. And so they played together and we talked, and he talked me into getting the, the master's degree. And I just decided, well, if I'm going to do this teaching, I'm going to have to convince myself. So I told everybody that I was going to teach so that I couldn't back out. <laughs> I mean, I can speak in front of people now, but the first day in front of a class, I was holding a book and my hands were shaking so bad I had to put the book down because it just wasn't my natural thing. The same thing happened for the PhD. Gene Hostetter went to Irvine and he insisted that I come with him to do the PhD. That was not my plan. And when I tried to drop out, he wouldn't let me drop out either. So I did everything that happened and the chair, that was not my idea. That was his idea. <laughs> he was leaving and he came in and, yeah. and asked me to do that. And I said, whoa, wait a minute. You know, and he said, well, I don't, there's only two years to this term, so that's okay. You'll only have to do two years. Well, it became nine years. <laughs> and then it was his idea for the associate dean, too. So none of this was ever planned. My life has been blessed, and my husband has been there all the time waiting while I've been playing over here, having a good time. <laughs> so, so thank you very much. Thank you, Sandy. Well, I think, I think we have just a few extra minutes to get down to 105, unless some other, oh, Dr. Would, Parr, would you? I oh. can talk about Oh, I think you are. Please, oh. please do. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I've been on the campus a long time as well. Came here in 88, so I'm a piker compared to Sandy and some of the other folks here. Um, but I've, I've, um, uh, I've enjoyed my association on this campus with people like Sandy. 
um, I think we were associate deans together for, for at least, for, I think for a year, you know, um, and worked together on other things, worked together on other, on other committees and the like. So I think that Sandy so much represents what this institution is about, that this is a, a truly a great public university. We put, the, we put our students first. When we talk about student success, it's really important uh, to us. We really, and we have, we, we're developing a record uh, to demonstrate that. People like Sandy, uh, who are always worried about students, who are worried about the quality of the programs, uh, in support uh, with uh, all the faculty, have created the kind of an environment that, that uh, students uh, really thrive. So uh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you to folks like you uh, for making this institution uh, what it is and the College of Engineering what it is. And it is really, truly a pleasure to welcome so many who have contributed to the success of this college over its 52 years of his news and world reports we're the fourth best master's comprehensive university in the west he's mentioned that we're one of the best 50 value colleges in the country uh, with no exclusion all universities included which means of course that we're really good and we're really cheap <laughs> um, for as i mentioned the record-breaking number of graduates we have this year almost 9,000 graduates and he mentioned the biggest growth of graduates 40 percent growth in graduates and engineering students uh, 9,000 graduates puts, uh, puts us in uh, i think about the top 10 of number of graduates um, for institutions across the country that's a significant thing especially when you consider that this institution is getting near 270,000 alumni and 70% of them live within like 70 miles of where we are right now. The New York Times, the Chronicle of Higher Education, the Boston Globe, the Australian Christian Science Monitor, and many, many more. Please welcome our president, Dr. Tim Alexander. Thank you, Dean Oshani. Thank you all. And thank you all for coming. Uh, I was just commenting to the students. If I had a uh, dune buggy like that, Oh, yeah, just have their names on it. Great. Yeah. Oh, sorry.